I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Pillar, would you please lead us in a prayer? Please bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for the beautiful weather that you've given us here in Hazen. We pray that you watch over the activities of tonight's meeting, that it may be pleasing to you and serve our citizens within the city of Hazen. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, tonight we we'll the reading of the minutes from the April 19th meeting. Motion to approve and suspend the reading. Motion by Wolf. Second, second by Stern. Discussion. All in favor of those minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Um, approval of the agenda. Any changes or additions to the agenda? Motion to approve and suspend reading. A motion by act to approve the agenda. Second. And a second by a pillar. Discussion. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. We need to look at that. Yeah. All in favor of approving this agenda say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Okay, 5A, engineer's report. Jared, do you want to give us an update, please, on how that went up uh, on bluegrass? Bluegrass? Yeah, I was going to say sunflower, but you're bluegrass. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> Hope everybody can hear me. Uh, I didn't have much of a report this month. Just mentioned a few things in a brief email to Monty on Friday. Um, we are opening bids for the water tank project on Thursday. Um, I'll send a, it's a digital thing, so there's really nothing to attend. Um, I'll send a report probably that night to show you how the bids came in, but no action. I expect we'll take action at the next meeting. Um, the only thing we did in the last two weeks was the water service insulating. John Schroeder, you know John, he's a construction engineer with Moore. He was there Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. They had hoped to get the work done in one day, and it, it, it took a lot longer than that. It took three days. Um, so what we found was pretty similar to what the, your staff had reported on the day after the meeting. Everything was between six and six and a half feet deep. Not surprising that those things were uh, freezing in freezing in some years and not freezing in other years, just be, because of that. Um, the the little goose neck that comes off the water main, a lot of times the culprit. Water mains themselves almost never freeze. It's the service lines. It's the little the little where the corporation is usually gets a little shallower. Sometimes it's even a foot or two shallower. Um, and so that, that gets really shallow, and that, that's where it freezes a lot of the time. That wasn't the case. The service lines came straight out the side of the water main, but we didn't uh, didn't see any of that, you know, super, super shallowness stuff. But I, I sent an email follow-up after the meeting last week, but I'm sure the public didn't get that. But, you know, we, we did insulate those service lines with four inches of insulation, which kind of... A, industry standard or rule of thumb, I guess you'd say, is that each board of insulation, each two-inch thick board, is the equivalent to adding a floor cover. So where that gooseneck is in the middle of the street, we added four inches four inches of insulation because it overlapped. Or no, excuse me, eight inches of insulation where it overlapped, and then four inches of insulation the rest of the way. Um, John went through the detail with those guys before they started show them what he expected, and then spent the next three days spot checking and measuring to make sure they did what they were supposed to do. So I'll stand for questions. Otherwise, uh, you got an invoice from them that matches the quote, the quote plus the one lot. Um, so give any questions on that or construction, I'll, I'll, I'll answer. So Jerry, my only question is, we that was done in one day. It took three. What was the what was the biggest issue? It didn't work a full day on that Friday. Oh. Um, that was I, I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I think they quit at two or three o'clock in the afternoon that day. So 
they, what they were doing is they were they would dig each service and then backfill the service. So it's kind of just you know they. I think if they had brought more equipment, you know, dedicated equipment to dig and dedicated equipment to backfill, they probably could have gotten it done in one day. But they just mm -hmm. from what I understand, I wasn't there. John was there. Sure. He, he just said they they just did it kind of one at a time. <clears throat> Anybody else have questions for Jared? Okay. All right, Jared, we appreciate you being on for a little bit. That's all we have. Yeah. Okay. Feel free to. If anything else comes up, feel free to call. Otherwise, we'll be there in two weeks and we'll go through business at that. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. everyone. Thank you. Dave, anything you, you were there when it was going on? What, what did you see? What, what, how did the process went? I thought it went really well. Found exactly what we were looking for depth wise. Uh, we'll be doing the black dirt work, fill in and stuff after cleanup week. So if anybody would call City Hall or whatever, we're putting that a little bit on hold till cleanup week again. Yeah. So is that just that two inch rigid foam that you yeah, that for pink, it's pink stuff, yeah, yeah. like double layer to triple layer to whatever the right mm -hmm. incorporation of name and stuff. Yeah. They didn't find any those goosenecks or the corporations and all, they weren't getting bad, were they? Or, no, that all looked good. All the plumbing looked really well. Yeah. But very, very sandy soil. So okay. this definitely should help. Good. Thanks. Okay, moving down to 6A. Um, Peace Lutheran Church Project. Mr. Link. Well, thank you. How are you today? Pardon? How are you? I'm good. Good. All of you. Thank you for having me on the agenda. This one, uh, one request in the update, uh, the one request is that the uh, cover on the curb stop to the parsonage is broke off and keep setting it back on. Uh, I don't know how the that folks... Already been repaired. Oh, it has been repaired. We did that, yes, already this week. Oh. We were right at the end of last week, I should say, but that's done. Oh, wow, that, that's... Okay, check that out. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, you, uh, on our parking lot project, we're still on schedule to start in June. And so certainly you folks will have uh, maybe some calls from the public <coughs> saying, hey, we can't get through on the west side of Peace Lutheran Church. Well, it's not a public street. It's a private drive. Now... One, one item of reminder, the only part of the project that's on street right away is that one stretch of sidewalk at the south end from the driveway north to the new curb we're going to pull. I, I don't remember just how many feet. It's maybe like 20 feet or something like that. I'm not certain. Okay. Are you guys going to do all concrete, Ken, or are you doing the asphalt work? No, it's all concrete. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. And you said early June? Yeah, we're, right now it's still on schedule to start. I'm not going to say June 1, <coughs> but, you know, maybe the first week of June. Okay. So our... Are we? Are you needing us to get barricades up there to put up there on the roads if you are pulling out of the parking lot, or you know, well, these guys should? We really not your response, not the city's responsibility, but it, well, we're yeah. We would. Well, you know where they're at. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a hold of Dave, I suppose, and <laughs> we can borrow some and put them up there. Would definitely help on both sides yeah. to, to deter people. Uh, was there any progress or no no progress or whatever the answer is on the investigation of that sewer line and to videotape the sewer line in there by the parking lot, it's about a 150 foot stretch. Were we waiting for some to come to get to do that still or what? They were making a list to try and get pace here to do several of them at once. So yeah, as far as I know, Ryan 
I have this list pretty well done. Yeah, I got an email from Pace. They're going to be in the area within the next week or two, okay. and I think Ryan is going to get in touch with them to see if they can fit us in or whatever. But that's all the idea. We're going to be in the neighborhood, which would save us some windshield time. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I'm just anticipating on the progress of removing that concrete and doing the project there. If the city decides to do something with that sewer line, it's going to have to be done within the second week of June, unless things on our end get delayed. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll want to have our engineers review that tape as soon as we get it back. Because it'll take us time to well, who knows? Hopefully it's in good shape. I don't, but we don't, we don't know. But. No, and again, it's 150 feet from the manhole going north. So, <laughs> I don't know how far you're going to video if you're going to go all the way between the two manholes. That's a long stretch, but this is the only part that we're opening up. Okay. At 150 feet. Okay, okay. All right, so we'll get as soon as we get that report back, we'll okay. figure out what shape it's in, take action if we need to, and, and coordinate with your project if we have to. So. Okay, thank you. Good. Good luck, Ken. Thank you. Any questions for Ken? <clears throat> All right. Moving on down to 8A, building permit for Dorn Brandt. Uh, extraterritorial zone. Uh, let me see. I'm going to pull that one up. Okay, you guys, I'll have a map and see where he's looking at doing this. Monty, we need action. Do we need to? But, so if it's in our extraterritorial zone, I said that I would keep bringing these to you for action. One building is 40 by 80 with 10 foot walls. The other one is 24 by 30 with 8 foot walls. It's hard to see, but this little piece of building right next to the barn will be removed, and the other building will be set close there, the 24 by 30 one. The, and then the other one will go behind the barn to the south. <clears throat> he is moving them all on all gravel roads. He'll be coming in from the south of his place with these buildings. As I stated, one is a frame structure with tongue and groove siding. The other one is a pool structure with steel. And this is zoned ag. So, go ahead. I was just going to say motion to approve. The uh, permit for Mr. Grant. Second. We have a motion by Pillar, second by Wolf. Discussion, Casey. So there is there any kind of I guess uh, photos of the of the buildings that he wants to move in? Or? No, I don't have any photos, but he is going to refinish the, the exteriors of them once they get outside. Any other discussion? Roll call. Taylor. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Hack. Aye. Stern. Aye. Omenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. 8B, building permit for Hilltop Meats remodeling. Uh, they're going to see what commercial one. Again, they purchased the DeAndrea's building. They sent us, gave us a sketch showing they're going to be adding some walls within where the garages are now on the east side. They'll leave the doors on the exterior, but they're just going to build a wall on the inside. Uh, they're going to cut an opening in some of the other <coughs> walls and take some other walls out and replace the front door, very likely. Uh, overall, the building doesn't change. There was some questions about them using a freezer similar to what they have at their 
business on West Main. I spoke to the planning and zoning chairman, and since our ordinance does not allow something like that, and we're going to be working with them to get that other one removed or enclosed was the suggestion. They can build walls around that one if, to make it comply with our ordinance so that it isn't an exposed container. Okay. So that's that's exterior? That would be exterior to the building? Yes. Got it. So I see they're, they're adding a drain into that, that big, apparently, party room in the back there. Do you know what the function of that particular room is going to be and what they're going to be putting down that drain? Uh, basically, all of their processing will be done elsewhere. It'll just be cleaning utensils and those types of things. Uh, I did talk to them about the issues we're having with other businesses, so they are aware, and we will work with the inspector and whoever they get to do their plumbing to ensure that they're not putting things down there that are going to clog like the other businesses. Okay. Great, that's become quite an issue. Simple modification. Motion to approve. Motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Wolf out. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hat. Aye. Hiller. Aye. Owen Hour. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, down to 8C, uh, Langwork combination on 1029 First Avenue Northeast. I see Coulter and Pam are here. Um, both of you have something you want to know this is about? Yeah, I guess I was just blindsided last time. I didn't know this was going on with my property. I didn't know you guys were thinking of condemning it. Or, I mean, I can have that. North one is skirted, no problem, and the south one, yeah, it needs new siding, and I can get new siding on it. Uh, my plan was to live in north one while I was kind of renovating the, the south one, and that's still the plan, I guess, if I'm allowed to do so, but I can, I can get a, a fence up, maybe a privacy fence, which would improve the property and maybe kind of block out the view from the neighbors. Um, other than that, that's, I'm just looking for a little bit of time, I guess. Okay. Um, Pam, did you want to add anything since your name is on there too, I guess? Reconsider and Give us time to get the work done. Okay. Colton, did you ever get the message from Mommy to hold me that I tried to contact you a couple times? Well, I, I come, you called me, so that's why I. Right, and I told you to pass the message to you know, contact information. Yeah, I left a message for Monty, but. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, there is protocol uh, for this. Situation and we did contact you, Coulter, to let you know what our what the intentions were from the city uh, about the condemnation. I know I'm sorry if you didn't understand what it meant or what we were planning on doing or, or the process, um, but we did try to get a hold of you and finally did. Um, um, there, the process now, and I guess I can read this to you verbatim, and this is. The process of how to appeal. Do you, do you have, do you have you ever received that information of how to appeal this? this? So, no. I printed something out of the ordinance. Okay. I was just hoping that you as a board might reconsider and just give us a little extra time to get this work done. Well, look, we made our, we made our decision and and it wasn't to um, proceed with work, it was to proceed with the condemnation. Um, I guess 
I am only speaking for myself, but uh, I'm not in favor of extending the time or doing anything different than what the board has already decided to do. Um, the appeal process, however, there is, uh, and it does say the governing board must serve upon the owner, occupant, or mortgage, mortgagee, leasee, and all other persons having an interest in any such building so, so ordered, repaired, vacated, or demolished. A copy of this order, such copy, will be served upon the owner, occupant, or mortgagee, or leasee within 10 days after the issuance of such order. And that order was the night that the last time you were here, and we did give you that information within 10 days. The owner, occupant, um, mortgage or leasee, therefore, has 30 days from the date of the service of the order in which to appeal from the order to the District Court of Mercer County in North Dakota, or to take other legal steps to rejoin the enforcement of the order as deemed proper. Any person desiring to appeal, which would be you, from any order issued by the board under and by virtue of the article must file the undertake file an undertaking in sum of at least five hundred dollars to be approved by the city auditor and conditioned that the appellant will prosecute so thank you the appeal without delay and will pay all costs at any that may be adjudged against the, him in the district court such undertaking must be payable to the city so that's that's the appeal process um, sounds like it costs a lot of money five hundred dollars so if, 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 if this. so um have you considered that process I mean, like I said, times aren't very good for me right now, and money is tight. I just, I don't want to be homeless, and basically that's what's going to happen here. And I guess I, I just don't know which, I don't know what to do. I mean, my, yeah. I can't advise you on what to do either. Well. I mean, you advise somebody to go to my house and do an inspection, but why? I didn't order that. No, that's well, why. That's what our. That's I'm what just wondering board, why my this, properties are came to be condemned. That's what this board is here for. That's why we were voted in these positions to to do these duties, which aren't fun duties, Coulter, but they're duties that responsibilities that they have to do. I understand. You're here for the good of the community. I understand that. But, I mean. I don't know your home situation. You said you weren't living there. Um, so I, I don't know what, what your home situation is. So I, I, sorry about that. But un, unless this board decides to re vote in favor to let you give you time, then that's, that's the only other way. But, uh, um, The Mr. Weiss will be here. He said he'd try to be here by six o'clock, um, but the, the person that did the inspection. But so unless I hear anything different from the board, does anybody else want to speak? I mean. And I guess we're sticking with our decision because we didn't see progress in the last I didn't know couple of years to. that you were going to, you said you were going to fix them up and you kept telling us I'm going to fix them up, I'm going to fix them up and they've never been fixed. And so now we start this process and now you're saying, well, I'm going to fix them. Well, it's been how many years that you haven't fixed them and now we're supposed to assume that you're going to do it. I, I mean, at this point, your actions show that it's probably not going to be repaired. It's not going to be livable. And our inspector says it's not livable. So oh, he was never inside either one of them. <coughs> I guess if there's a motion to I mean what do 
what it says on paper, yeah, okay, one one knee siding, but the roof is good and the float is fine. And I mean, I can beautify it. I can get new siding on if that's the problem. We tried to help you beautify your property one other time, and it went straight back to what it is now. If I don't hear um, a motion by the board to change the process. I am giving help now. And it says in the notice, you can go to the district court in Stanton and appeal this. You have 30 I, days from this day of... I called yeah. Stanton. They wouldn't talk to me. They told me to call Bismarck. I can't find anybody to call in Bismarck at the courthouse. Pat, do you have any opinion on that or include what the process... In you know anything different on this process than what we know, or okay, I didn't think so. Okay. No. <clears throat> the courts are open. They're, they're still operating. They're, but I, I was told to call the clerk of court in Stanton. They said, who told you to call us? And they told me to call the auditor's office, I think it was. And they're like, well, don't call us. Maybe you should call this one. Well, I can't find anyone. Well, they would need a, to have a case to deal with. If you file uh, this appeal with the court, they would have something. The district court charges for case filing. And once it's been filed and accepted, it's case number, it's assigned to a judge. The whole process starts. So I have to hire a lawyer to just find out how to appeal. <laughs> the how is, is in the ordinance, but yes, in terms of the process, of once it gets to court, you're usually advised to hire a lawyer to the district court appeal. Can I go through a mediator? Only, only if this board would change their minds on something. But isn't that part of an appeal? Is to choose a mediator rather than going to a judge? <clears throat> well, I'm not going to advise you because I represent the city. And well, you can check with your own lawyer and see if but that's not the city's job to advise you. So. Well, that's the problem I've run into. Nobody can advise me. <coughs> that, what, what are the problem, problems with my property to need it to be condemned? Is it just the skirting and the siding? I can have that taken care of. No, it's more than that, apparently. It's two cases or something. And so I guess what kind of... What kind of extension, I guess, are you wanting? I mean, I mean, weather holds. It's one day. I would say forty-five days, just sixty days, just to be on the safe side. I mean, as, as far as the job goes, we can get that out of there. And then get the other, the one trailer skirting. The second trailer, well, that's more time we can Sir, can you tell us your name, please? Steve Gettner. That's my husband. Thank you. <clears throat> so I guess, are we... Are we able to just extend this out for, I guess? Well, if you have a motion to or... reconsider okay. your past action, and if that motion passes, then you can alter it. Okay. 
you're not taking the lots, you know, the lots that, you know, you can put other livable houses. Right, it's still your crop, it's still your land. I understand that. It's the building. Well, what do I do with all the stuff inside? Do you guys take my houses? Where am I going to stay? We can't, that's not for us to advise you on, Walter. Sorry. Okay. I'm just uh, asking what I need to do to keep my structure. You know, that's what I'd, I'd like to do. Unless I hear a motion to apparently repeal what we went up, did, made a decision on April 19th. That's the only way we're going to change this. Just have a motion and a second and vote in favor of it, which I'm not in favor of. But that is for the board to decide. So if I don't hear a motion, and we'll stand by our decision we made on April 19th to condemn, and then you still have the 30 days from when you were served with papers. Okay, move to, uh, move to extend this out uh, 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 to 60 days. 60? From today or the day you served? From now. Okay, we have a motion by sir. We have a second. Do we have a second? I hear no second, so the motion fails. Therefore, we will stand by the decision we made on April 19th. I'm not sure who you contact to find out how the process works. We just give you our rules. So. Okay. Moving on to reports 9A, water and sewer. Well, with re regard to garbage, We've got the citywide cleanup one this week. Uh, I played prior to the start of the meeting. We we've got some audio advertising that's going on with the with the local radio station. Uh, we felt that that was a, a, a good path forward um, in light of the fact that not everybody gets the Hazen Star or, or has uh, local access. And this here, incidentally, because of the radio station, is on local access in the uh, audio format and. Very, very good advertising, just reminding our citizens that we're, we're doing this because we're we're proud of our city and we want our city to, to continue to look good. And uh, I just, in advance, thank Dave and, and his staff for uh, I've driven around town. They, they got their work cut out for them and they always do a phenomenal job. So people in this town certainly do take advantage of this time of the year. You know, it's a good point. When people ask, "What do I get for my taxes?" We, we could we could take some pictures of some of the curbs and uh, show them exactly that. So, again, thank you for that. Yeah. That's, that's all I have for tonight. Yeah, I appreciate it. I know it's a long week or week plus. Today went well. Good. Uh, streets Cemetery. I have nothing for streets, but I just wanted to you know, second that bump of the street cleanup and all our guys do a made up job and we appreciate your all your hard work. I'll pass it on to the guys. Yep. Yep. Finance busing library. Uh, so our new uh, library our director has started, um, Cindy, uh, Cindy Azer, uh, this was her, this was her, I guess, the first day or so. Okay, good. <clears throat> so I have a Thanks. Please, fire. Forestry. Buster, HCD. Oh, Monster. Okay. 
<laughs> Mr. Weist, um, we are, we've already acted on the situation uh, that we had. Landlords were here, and we stood behind the, the decision we made on the 19th. So um, they may contact you asking what more was the issue other than skirting and siding, but that's all. So okay. it's done. You don't. You can go back fishing. Well, I'm you going to apologize for my attire, but <laughs> now screw you. I came up here for nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. But just, just to bring you in the loop here, uh, we, 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 the family was informed of the process that they have available to them to to go to Stanton and seek out an appeal. And uh, they may, as Jerry said, they may get in touch with you just to ask some additional questions if they were to go down that appeal process. Well, that's what I was going to, I did drive by there just to see where we're at. They haven't worked on cleaning it up, but I was going to say before, tell him before you spend any money, you've got to have electricity, you've got to have hot water, you've got to have heat. And there's some basics that <clears throat> don't spend a bunch of money skirting and doing stuff, and then you can't call for it. Okay. All right. Thanks Thank you. Yeah. Woo, All right. right. Fine. <laughs> May I ask a question on that? Yes, sir. Yes. If, if they do appeal it, and that does end up going to, say, county court or whatever, will that be something that uh, me and Adam, my neighbor, and possibly some other neighbors can be there for on, you know, like, the city's behalf? Since we're kind of the ones that have yeah. been pushing really hard for this, and, and I appreciate all the work that everybody's put into this. Yeah, they, they like to call the witnesses. And, and, and that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, they, they might have you testify. Really, I would really like to, you know, if it does go that far. I would, sure. I would love to know that, and I will, I will do everything I can to be there. I'm pretty sure Adam would be too, and possibly one or two other neighbors, you know, who talk to a couple other people in the neighborhood. So. I would, I would assume, Pat, that if that process were uh, approached, that Stanton or the courts would likely contact the city of Hazen that that was moved, the appeal process was moving forward. So well, the they city, have to, they'd have to serve us with, okay. yeah, <laughs> with the, yeah. the documents. Trust me. To show us the <laughs> appeal. Okay. I, I, I would agree, but just in case, I'm trying to get all my eggs in the one basket. This ain't going to happen. We get a chance to answer mm -hmm. yep. okay. and, you know, I don't think the facts are going to change so it's and, and I guess the reason reason for my question there is that uh, it's obviously been noted by our citizens here that they would like to participate and if we are contacted as a city then we can as a courtesy um, give these guys a ring and just say it's moving forward on such and such a date or whatever and they could do whatever they want yeah. And, and I had asked Monty about that a couple days ago, about a week ago, and he he kind of assumed the same thing, but he wasn't sure, so I just kind of wanted to sure. go over it with you guys one more time, just in case something was completely different than what he made it on. Okay. All right. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Austin. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> summer. Buster, yeah, it's summer. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Thank you. All right. Um, I just want to report that last week we had a wonderful presentation for young Lily Van Dyke at the elementary school. Daniel was there. Um, the Blake Crosby from the League of Cities was here to present her with an award from the state as well. And we did present her with fifty dollars of these and bucks. Um, and the League of Cities uh, gave her an additional one hundred and fifty dollars. So there were a lot of Kids in the audience that thought maybe they probably should have wrote that essay. <laughs> <laughs> but she was the only third grader in North Dakota chosen for that. So that was pretty pretty cool. It was a really fun afternoon. Moving down to 10A, 101 things to do, circular ad. Um, we've done this uh, <coughs> in the past with the, the Hazen Star, and um, we've done the fourth page in the past. Uh, they do do half pages and full pages as well. And uh, you'll see the on your report what we had in the past on here. Um, in the past we did a quarter page. We did full color. 
Okay. And so this year she's asking if this is the year that we go to a full page. So I don't know that we've done a full page in the past, have we? We have it was several years ago. Okay. What would the board like to do, if anything? I'll make a motion to go with the quarter page, full color. Okay, we have a motion by Wolf to go quarter page. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 It's a nice time. Aye. Oh. Aye. Spent money. <laughs> Roll call. Sorry. Wolf. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hack. Aye. Hiller. Aye. Over hour. Aye, thank you. 10B, drinking water week proclamation. As you'll see on your reports, uh, there is a the city proclamation with a bunch of whereases. Um, we don't have an issue for the court of doing this. Where are you putting it? It's getting published in the paper, or are you hanging on everybody's doors, or what? I don't know. Put it out over social media, basically. Okay. If there's no no objections to it, we'll watch it move forward. We'll sign this and put it out there to the world. Okay. Drinking water week. Is there something we should do special on drinking water week? Just drink, curious. Drink water. Drink water. water. Southwest water once you drink your caps on and drink water. Okay. <laughs> Or it's not at a reduced rate. I didn't know if we were going we to have a potluck or something. <laughs> Very hot dish. All right. We will move forward to that. Uh, 11A, Old Business Burn Ban Proclamation. You'll see that on your report as well. We approved this on April 7th. Never was formally signed and promulgated out there. Just wanted to make sure you were continuing this. Continuing to support staying in alignment with what the uh, advisement is. With the county of emergency. Does it require action to, to no. total line? Okay. We'll just, we'll just, You've already approved I'll this. I'll get the signatures on it. Yeah. Okay. Moving down to 12A, spray bids. Published notice for spray bids. Received two of them. One is from Mr. Nelson and Bula. <laughs> from J and J Nelson Spraying LLC. Total bid of two thousand six hundred four dollars. $2,604. And that is for these areas included on the form. The second bid is from Mr. Blinsky, Spruce It Up Lawn and Tree. Total bid $1,190. $1,190. And those are the only two bids received. Well, um, Mr. Blinsky has done our job in the past several years, correct, Monty? Correct. And I don't know if we're, we're unhappy with what he's done. <coughs> I think it doesn't matter who sprays, we're still going to get dandelions along in certain areas, but I think it's been good. I don't, I don't know why we would do anything different with this. It's not close. Make a motion to accept Mr. Valensky's bid for spraying for this motion year. Motion by? Amount of $1,190. Thank you. Motion by Pillar? Second. Second by a half. Discussion. Roll call. Miller. Aye. Hack. Aye. Stern. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Open hour. Aye. Motion carried. 12B, mayor for the day. We're going over that. 
Uh, the idea is to just read that off so that it's in the minutes. Okay. Okay. As we told her, we would put it in the minutes. So it's a permanent record. Okay. That works. And that, there's a picture of the ship get up there. You going to read it? I can read Certificate of recognition awarded to Lily Van Dyke for your achievement in being named North Dakota League of Cities 2001 Mayor for a Day Essay Contest winner. As recorded in the official record, the proceedings of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Hazen this third day of May 2021. Signed by Commission President Gary Obenauer. She's in the books. Twelve C Transit Grant Award. I threw this in this morning and received it late Friday night. We were awarded the fiscal year 2022 transit grant in the amount of $103,595. This is a match grant. 50-50 for operations, unless there's still COVID uh, considerations, and 80-20 for administrative. So this is a dollar amount that we asked for? This Basically, it's based on the, it's 50%, it's 93,000 for our operating, we would be responsible for the other 93,000, and then the 12,000 are changed for admin, which we would be responsible for 4,000. Okay. Or less. Do we need a motion of acceptance or anything? Yes, because you'll have to sign it. Okay. We need a motion to accept this grant award. So moved. Motion by Hack. Second mm -hmm. discussion. Okay. So I guess why is this already for I guess twenty twenty two? Because that actually starts July one. Mm -hmm. Here here and yeah. It says here July 1, 2022 through Ju uh, June 30th, 2023. The feds run their fiscal years different than <coughs> okay. Okay. Question. Okay, we have a motion and we have a second. Discussion? Any more discussion? Roll call. Hack. Aye. Stern. Aye. Teller. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Obenauer. Aye. Motion three. Approval of the bills. Motion to approve. Motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. All in favor of approving the bills say aye. 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 <laughs> and roll call. Sorry. <laughs> Peace. Roll. Aye. roll. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hack. Aye. Pillar. Aye. Webinar. Aye. Adjourned.